And finally, there is a, well, there was a great thing on the internet called Libs of TikTok. All this was was social media accounts that repeated the stupid things that lefties say on the internet. But apparently that is now considered hate speech to just show people what people say. Yes, okay, so uh, Libs of TikTok is basically just a compilation site that goes on TikTok and, and monitors the far left. In, in particular, these like trans activists and school teachers who let the veil down and show us what they're doing to our children. And so she collates what they make public and brings it over to Twitter so we can see, and it's very entertaining. Sometimes she breaks news as well in the way our Christopher Rufo does. People leak to her a video of a teacher who was on Zoom or something. But for the most part, she just reposts what the teachers do themselves. She wishes to remain anonymous because she knows she's probably gonna lose her job as a real estate agent, now we know she is. Uh, if people find out, she apparently is a Brooklyn real estate agent, that she doesn't share the politics of 99% of Brooklyn, <laughs> which are far left. Mm -hmm. And this Taylor Lorenz is the worst example of what's wrong with the world right now. She's this elitist reporter. She grew up in Greenwich, Connecticut. She literally went to Swiss boarding schools. She <laughs> works for the New York Times and now the Washington Post. So literally, her articles are on the front page of the two most read newspapers in America. And she, at every turn, portrays herself as a victim. She's the one who's unfairly being attacked. Her bread and butter reporting, Paul, is to attack and dox private civilians who have zero power. So she wanted it known, this is who they are. And she, this one woman actually lost her show and lost sponsors after Taylor Renz's report. All of Taylor's reporting is this way. Then what happens is some people push back and say, you're, you're the queen of mean. You're a mean girl. I don't like your reporting. And she says, oh, I've been, I, the online harassment I have been subjected to is next level. You know, I'm like, <laughs> I would put my online harassment up against yours any day of the week, Taylor. Grow up. Grow up. You're in the arena. Stop slinging your arrows and then play the victim when you get a few back. That's the way it works. And if you can't take it, media is not the industry for you.